Hi, this is Chef Alan Teo. Today I'm going to introduce you some uh, baking workshop. All right. And uh, what we're going to do today is I'm going to do a banana bun cake. It's pretty simple. What you need are all the ingredients that I'm showing you here. So the main ingredients, of course, is the banana. And what I'm using today is the pisang lemak manis. Okay. Uh, the other thing you will need is, of course, some lemon. And uh, we only need to extract some of the juice. Okay. And we'll need plain flour, self-raising flour, uh, sugar, of course, you use custard sugar. And then you need some cinnamon powder. And uh, you need sour cream, all right? Uh, some fresh milk. And you need brown sugar as well. Of course, the main ingredient here will be your eggs. We only need two eggs. And of course, we will need butter. Now, first thing you need to do is to preheat your oven. Now, every oven is different. What I normally do is I preheat them to about 15 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius. And uh, the baking time is actually a guide for you. The normal time is about 50 minutes, but it can go longer than that. So please watch out for your own baking time. The other thing that you need to note is I need you to sieve your flour, which is actually the uh, plain flour, self-raising flour, sodium bicarbonate, and baking powder and of course your cinnamon powder together and you sieve it three times all right i'm going to just show you it's actually very simple okay the other thing which is most important is before you do anything please wash your hand as you know the covid 19 is on now so the most important thing is wash your hand clean before you touch any of your ingredients and then you sieve it three times. Why we need to sieve it three times is actually to aerate the flour. So after this, you just leave it aside, okay? And we can beat it. But before we start any of the beating process, this is called a bunt cake pan, all right? It has got very nice, what you call, design, all right? There are many types of this in the market, all right? What you need to do is, we call it greasing. Grease, I use some melted butter, as you can see, all right? I'll grease the pan generously. Now, must grease every corner of your pan. Eh? All right, this is very important. Otherwise, later on, it will be very difficult for you to remove your cake from the cake pan. Now, buttering or greasing is not the only thing that you need to do in a cake pan. You also have to put flour on it, all right? You can use those flour that you have sifted just now. If not, then you can always use some plain flour, all right? Just sprinkle the flour on your pan. and then you dust it. This is how you should dust your cake pan. The flour must be in every corner. Otherwise, it's very difficult for you to remove later. Once you have done this, okay, throw away any, uh, any lots that you don't need, okay, and then you leave aside. And then we can beat our butter. This is uh, the butter that I'm using and it's actually unsalted butter. Why I use unsalted butter is 
If you have salted butter, you don't know how much salt is in it. When you use unsalted butter, you can actually use your own proportion. Like uh, if we say half a teaspoon or one teaspoon, you can actually measure them. All right. So I put my butter into the mixing bowl. And normally what I do is I let it roll for a while. Just open up the butter. Okay, and then I add my sugar. So what you need to do is, I already measure them out. So as I said, the uh, recipe will be on the website of uh, Tampanese West CC. And uh, we have the brown sugar together. And then you can go on medium speed. And then go on to maximum. And you beat this for about six minutes until it's light and fluffy. You may want to spread down the sides because the recipe that I'm doing is only for one portion and um, you can see that the butter is not a lot, it's only 140 grams. So, scrap it down. Okay, and then you let it roll again. Then, meanwhile, you can prepare two eggs, all right? I'm using medium egg. So, before you add in the egg, always give it a stir first. Mix up the egg yolk and the egg white. And then, you can be ready. Now, you have to beat until it's light and fluffy. So, we let it go. We prepare our banana. So, I have about four pieces of the banana here. But, you can add in another piece if you like. You can increase the quantity by about 10%. Alright, that's the maximum that you can go. Of course, everybody has their preference. So, if you are not keen on using this banana, which I always use it, then you can use uh, any other banana that is your own choice. So, what we need to do is, we just smash them. Okay, so you just smash your banana and then you add in half a teaspoon of your lemon juice. And then you leave it aside. Okay, while we are still waiting for another few minutes, we are using sour cream. Now, one packet of sour cream is actually 200 gram. I'm using only about half of it. So I will add this into our banana, the smashed banana. Okay, our oven has been preheated. It's making noise, so I'm going to close it first. And then, it's actually not difficult to do this particular cake. And we will also add in one and a half tablespoon of milk. So you can see the mixture is a little bit um, even. Okay. Now we scrub it down and we can add our eggs. We go on low speed. All right, and then you add in your egg one at a time. And then you leave it up to medium. Let the egg roll for about 20 seconds.
Okay, so as we are beating the egg for about 20 seconds, we will add in our vanilla extract, which is about 1 teaspoon. Do not overbeat the batter. And here we actually have the flour. Remember, we sifted it. And then we have our banana mixture. So what we need to do here is, we have to put the flour in three stages and the banana in two stages. So we actually alternate them. We start with flour and we end with flour. So you have so much of flour, we add in about one third portion of it. We go on low speed, all right? As low as you can, and then we add in slowly. Okay, this is about one third. And then we add in half of your banana mixture. And then we add in another half portion of your flour. All these are done in low speed. Eh? And then the rest of your banana mixture. Okay, and the rest of your flour. Okay, do not over mix it. All right, so once you have put in all your flour, you can just remove it and then you scrape it down. Okay, just remove it. You can see for yourself that there are actually some flour in the batter, but it's fine. All right, what you need to do, just use your spatula and then just mix, mix it up. Okay, and then you can put into your bun pan and we can bake it. Now this bun pan is pretty big and I'm only doing uh, one portion of my recipe which is only about half of the bun pan. So you may want to get a smaller bun pan. This is actually about a nine inch in diameter pan. It's ready for baking. All right, I shall make a twitch to it. If you like, you can always add in some banana slices. Okay, cut some banana into pieces. Okay, coat them with a little bit of flour. Cut to any sizes that you want. And then you can put in between. Cover them up so that when after it's baked, people you cut through, you can actually see the banana and people doesn't actually know that there are some pieces of banana in it. Okay, that's it. And then we can bake them. Okay, I like to, our oven is already preheated. So what I like to do is, I like to put on a baking tray because it's easier for us to take it out from the oven later. All right, so I shall put it in the oven and you bake for about 50 minutes to one hour.
Okay, so that's, that's it. And then check, as I said uh, before, because all ovens are different. And then what you need to do is, once the 15 minutes is up, use a skewer and test it. Push the skewer right into the cake and lift it up. If the, if the uh, batter does not stick on the stick, then it's already baked. All right? Okay, so this is the cake just out from the oven. All right, as I say, I only do one, uh, one set of recipe, which is about half the height of my bun cake. So what you need to do is, after you have taken out, just give it a slight uh, shape and it will drop out by itself. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I put on, so I'm just going to overturn the cake after it has rest for about five minutes. All right. And then you can lift it up. There you go. Of course, for all cakes, huh, it's not good to just cut straight away. You should remove it like this and then you just keep aside for about one hour or so. Let it cool down first before you cut. But because of time constraints, so I'm going to cut it and then you can see the texture in it. All right. Actually, it's very hot, so it's not wise for you to cut, actually. But never mind, we just try it. You can see it's very soft because it's very hot. I usually like to do it when uh, I will keep them overnight and then the next day then I cut it, all right? So you can see, it's just so wonderful. Okay, so as you can see, you have a slice of banana in the banana cake itself, and then you can smell the nice fragrance of the cinnamon. And you can see the texture is actually very nice. All right. Okay, so this is the uh, banana bun cake. Of course, now adjust the taste accordingly to your liking. If you find that the sugar level is too high, you can reduce by 10%. But that's the maximum that you can go. And uh, for those who has got a very sweet tooth, you can add on 10%, all right? But again, remember, some of the bananas are actually very sweet. So I can't promise you about the sweetness of the banana, but adjust yourself, all right? So I'll see you again next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.